Hey guys, Kirais. I cover Magical Girl and Idol content. Today I'm going to be talking about a franchise I have about much here, and that's Love Live. Now, I am a huge Love Live fan. I'm surprised I haven't made any videos on it, but it's probably because I watched most of it a long time ago. So today I'm going to be ranking the awkward subunits. Now, as for the new girls, I still want to get some better impressions of what they're like. And if you're curious, this is my current ranking of those ones, but that'll probably change once the anime's out because this one is being made purely from like their songs and their vocals. It's been a while since I watched Sunshine, so hopefully there's no character bias. Anyway, let's get right into that. So I do want to start by talking about this first unit now. It looks an awful lot like crayon, but it's not. It's the letters are switched. And um, the Romaji on the wiki says Sharon, so we're going to be pronouncing it like that. Now, Sharon is the unit that I was expecting the least from because it just seemed like a very pop unit. And I'm not the hugest fan of that kind of sound, but I actually did end up, you know, enjoying a lot of their music. I think that some of their songs really take advantage of the fact that they have very similar ranges. And, you know, an example of that would be Yuzura Wanandemo, like that was a really good song by them. And I also think that Changeless gives off a very different vibe in comparison to their other songs. And in general, a lot of their songs are very cute. Changeless reminds me of the song Treasure from the Doki Doki Precure movie. It played while they had lost their memories. Minor spoilers for that, but it's not really like the biggest surprise because that's what like the whole movie is about memories. But yeah, I do think that this unit is a good one, but I did not enjoy their music. Their music's just not for me. Alright, so the next unit that I want to talk about is Azalea now. When I first found out about Azalea, I thought it was a rather strange matchup. Daya, Kanan, and Hanamaru are not who I expected to see in this unit, but I do think that overall I wasn't disappointed, and quite frankly, I think it's a really unique combo. Jump Up High wasn't quite the sound that I thought these three characters would have, like in a song. But I really do love it, and I think that Daya has a really solid voice. It also made me appreciate Hanamaru's voice. In terms of vocals, I would say my favorite is Daya, and then maybe a tie between Hanamaru and Kanan. Amazing Travel DNA was okay. I'm glad I finally listened to it, because I keep seeing that name. I had just never actually listened to it. Hanamaru's vocals do get to shine in a song like Tokimiki Bunruigaku. I'm probably not pronouncing that correctly, but I'm trying my best. And Innocent Bird was a really different vibe. I like that each of the units has at least one or two songs that are very different from the kind of sound they have. So yeah, um, I think one of my favorite songs by Azalea would be Galaxy Hide and Seek. Now, the third unit I'm going to talk about is Guilty Kiss. Now, as far as Guilty Kiss goes, Mari was definitely my favorite vocalist like before this because of what she did in Awkward like as a group. Um, Guilty Farewell Party was a little plain to me, mostly on Rico's part, but I do think that Rico is a good, you know, vocalist to put alongside Mari and Yohane because those two have really unique sounds so I think they really did need someone kind of plain sounding to balance it out. Guilty Eyes Fever, um, another song I love. Once again, Mari was my favorite vocalist here and Yohane, I just love that. And Mari really gets to go all out in songs like Shadowgate. But overall, I do think that this unit does have, you know, a bit of a worrisome undertone for me like I am concerned because they're like in high school but the songs are all like really suggestive 
But overall, if we're just talking about like the vocals and the songs, I do think that I enjoyed this one a lot. And now that I've kind of spoken about all three, I'm just gonna rank them. So yeah. All right, so now it's time for the ranking. And this is gonna be a bit hard because there's only three. And I do feel bad for like fans of the one that ends up being last, so... Um, I'm gonna start with the middle, and this should kind of give you a clue about the whole thing. I would put Azalea in the middle, and... I do think that my top pick would be... Guilty Kiss. I don't hate Sharon, I just think that it's not really for me. Overall, I do enjoy all of their songs, it's just that this is the ranking. Also, if you were paying attention, it's literally the order I covered them in from the one I like the least to the one I like the most. Um, I'm looking forward to the new girls and new music from them. They have really unique sounds and I'm really excited about that. So if you enjoyed that, be sure to like and subscribe. I also do have a page on Twitter, DeviantArt, and Tumblr. Mostly po I post art on all of them, so you can check that out. Um, YouTube should be showing you videos you might enjoy right now, but that's all for me. Tell me what you think and how you'd rank these, or if you want to see me rank more Love Life subunits.